for example, their documents and settings. So I can save data that I'm doing. Again, otherwise, it really won't be that useful if I can save anything. So that's how it works. I mean, essentially, all the app V does, it creates these virtual layers. And so on that client machine, nothing is written to my registry. Nothing is written to my file system except um, under the all users profile, I have this great big SFT file which contains the cache of all the data that I've pulled down from an AppV server, streaming server, IIS, etc. So I'm still actually caching it. And it's in the all users because if I have 10 different users using the same machine, I don't want all 10 of them pulling it down and caching it. So it's a shared cache, but it's still secured. So if one user doesn't have access to an application, they can't access it within the SFT file. Things you shouldn't be using this guy for, so drivers. Uh, I, can't, I can't virtualize a driver, it's, it's just not going to function. OS patches, service packs, hotfixes, Internet Explorer. None of those things are supported or will probably work. Antivirus software, I don't want to be virtualizing that. That needs to be running on my host OS. But everything else, I mean, database drivers, Java, runtime objects, services, fonts, it all works great. And obviously with 4.6, we have 64-bit support as well now. So the great news is I can sequence apps on 64-bit operating systems and run them, which is something I couldn't do previously. Okay, so let's just talk about how it worked. And if you actually see another video, I'll actually demo the streaming of this guy so you can actually see it. If you want to get app V, it's actually part of MDOT, so the Microsoft Desktop Optimization Pack. And that's available, I think, if you have an enterprise agreement or software assurance. Also, if you're using it with terminal services, so that, that's another great use for this thing. So I'm drawing a computer here. But imagine I had a big terminal server with hundreds of different users connecting that all use different applications. Rather than running each of those applications locally on that OS, installing them, if I virtualize the apps, it means this guy is not bogged down with tons of different DLLs and would have the same struggle with different versions of an application. So I can run virtualized applications on a terminal server. So that's licensed differently. Um, and the good news is we've actually, with, I think it's R2, maybe it's in, in 2008, the remote desktop services client access license gives you the right to use AppV. So that, that's actually uh, a new thing. Um, I guess one other thing I should at least mention because it was a it was a big new feature in four five is something called dynamic suite composition and kind of think of this. Remember I drew the virtualized environments, virtual environments, and I had a wall between them. So the virtual file system, virtual reg, etc., cannot see each other. Well, the problem with this is, is so imagine something like Java. So maybe I've got Java runtime environment, JRE, in this guy. And then I'm running some Java app in here. What I would actually have to do, because these guys can't see each other, when I sequence this application, I would have to do the app and the JRE together in that one virtualized application. It may not sound too bad. Now imagine I have 200 Java applications. Every one of those has the Java runtime environment linked in it. So when there's an update, I have to go and update 200 applications. So 4.5 introduced dynamic suite composition. And dynamic suite composition basically allows uh, a little bit of chat. It says, okay, I can set dependencies. And when I set that dependency, it kind of bridges them together. So they can now communicate, which means I don't need to install the JRE in this app anymore. I can just go through and use each other's resources. So that's actually a, a big new feature in 4.5 that people have been wanting for a really long time. And we now have that. So that's dynamic suite composition. Um, I hope that was useful. We just wanted to do a high level overview uh, of AppV and the process. And uh, hope it helped. Thank you.